Have you ever wondered what it would take to install an Intel Arc GPU into an aging computer? Well, you're in luck because we're going to be moving from an RTX 2060 Founders Edition to an Intel Arc 750, and there's absolutely nothing that will go wrong. Welcome to Extra Techie, where we learn to tech and use tech to learn, passing on tips and tricks to the everyday user. We hope you stick around if you enjoy the content don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now let's set the record straight. I only bought this Intel Arc 750 because it was on sale for $199 at Best Buy. Shout out to Epos Vox's Discord server for that tip. I still don't know if it's going to work, so I still had to do a bunch of research because my system is not the recommended specs. So let's see if it does work together, and I hope you stick around. For context, my current PC is made up of the following parts. NZXT H1 case, Z390i motherboard, 64GB RAM, various M.2s, an Intel Core i9-9900K, and an NVIDIA RTX 2060 FE. In its current state, I mostly use the PC for video editing, streaming, and browser-based tasks. Recently, when trying to stream and run a game from the PC, such as Disney's Speedstorm, I was hampered by frame rate drops over on OBS, which was crappy, but also understandable. Now, if I game from a console using a capture card, I can stream to YouTube with no issues. So I've been looking for an upgrade and the right moment. Well, here we are. The Intel Arc 750 is a seven month old infant GPU. Intel entering the GPU space where the battle rages on between Nvidia and AMD. And honestly, since the announcement of Arc, I've been super hype about it. But, and blessings to those who jumped right onto Arc, the experiences I have heard have me concerned, such as crashes, bugs, and glitches to say the least. So now that I have this card purchased, what is it going to take to ensure that it actually works in the system? Well, some questions. First, does my motherboard's BIOS have resizable bar? Can my power supply handle the increased workload? Will my CPU even be compatible? These are questions and challenges I have set up for myself, so let's dig into the questions. Let's talk BIOS. Doing some research leads me to Resizable Bar, a requirement for ARC and native to the 40 series of RTX cards. However, I have an older system, so will my motherboard work? At this point, your journey into this research may differ from mine. So I have a Z390 Republic of Gamers motherboard, so I naturally went to the manufacturer's website and located the latest BIOS software. I noted the latest build version. Then, I rebooted my PC into UEFI BIOS and noted the firmware build number. Uh-oh, we are a few versions behind. Let's read up on what these new firmware builds bring us. There are four new builds, and we are going to incrementally update so as we don't make a mistake. Oh, look here. In build 3002, resizable bar support for RTX 30 cards. Now, it does not say ARC, but at least that is progress. But let's go ahead and update to 3006. If you're not sure how to update your motherboard's BIOS, you better learn fast. The number one risk to updating firmware is the potential of bricking your system. To prevent this, you must let the update run. You cannot lose power. So good luck. How to update the BIOS. I'm going to download the files onto a flash drive and store them in an easy to find directory or folder. Once downloaded, I need to boot into UEFI and get into the Easy BIOS app. Once there, I can manually update the motherboard. I'm going to take it slowly, upgrading each iteration of the motherboard's firmware as to not cause any unstable issues. This is going to take some time, so enjoy the time lapse. 
With the bios finally at build 3006, we can move on to resizable bar. Let's tinker with some settings. With the resizable bar on and with some luck, we can move on to installing the ARC 750. For the full unboxing, go check out the video on the channel. First, we're going to have to uninstall the RTX 2060. This has been a great card and is a Gen 1 Founders Edition. I've had very little issues with this card. Before we install the ARC, I wanted to add more storage. See that process? Check out another video over on the channel. This power supply is, I think, a 650 watt unit, so it should work. With the ARC installed, we can finally boot and see if it works. Let's start by installing the Intel software to get the latest drivers. It works! So there you have it. We have the Intel Arc 750 installed, working alongside an Intel i9 9th Gen CPU. So that answers the question. The Arc 750 series of Intel GPUs do work with older hardware. Well, at least one generation older. Hey, thanks for watching this video, and I hope you got something out of it. I hope it was educational and you learned something because I know I learned a lot during this process. It's not a perfect video, but it's the video I made. And if it's something that you liked, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time on the Extra Techie channel. Peace out.